it's Yara Lachey here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be testing out some of those newer Maybelline products that came out, specifically the Superstay Foundation and the Age Defying Concealer that they have. Um, the Age Defying Concealer is not necessarily a new product, but they extended the shade ranges for us women of color, which was greatly appreciated because, you know, people really like that foundation. I mean, Maybelline, you know, we did have to wait like a year or two years or whatever before we could try it, but it's okay, you know? We're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt because you have definitely helped us out in the drugstore department like in every other way. So we, we're gonna let you have a pass on this one. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so that way we can stay connected. And also, if you guys don't have the notification button turned on, make sure you click that little bell down there so that way you can be notified every time I upload a video. And so we are gonna go ahead and get this thing started. So before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead, of course, and prime my face. So we're gonna use the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer. Um, this is supposed to be, a, of course, a shine control primer. However, I feel like it's just enough shine control for my combination to dry skin during the winter time. So that's why I like to use it and it's inexpensive. So of course, like I said earlier, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and the claims are it's a full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil free, doesn't clog pores, and that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I prefer to use a brush in order to apply this foundation. So I'll be using the Morphe M439 brush and I'm just going to pump the product right onto the brush. And you guys, I'm using the color 355 Coconut. It's too dark for me, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, by the time I finish, it'll all come together, I promise. Like, look. We're, we're talking too dark for me. I had gotten the shade below 355 and that was way, hey, hey, too light for me. And so for me with foundations, I'd rather go dark than go light. And typically I think most of my foundations are a wee bit too dark for me anyways, but I'd rather go dark than go light just because by the time you actually highlight and um, conceal and all that jazz it works out and so the next product i want to go in with is the maybelline instant age rewind concealer and so the claims for this concealer are non-existent on the packaging so let me see if i can find it online really quick okay this super concentrated treatment concealer features a micro correcting applicator to help instantly erase dark circles and fine lines. This concealer for dark circles and fine lines instantly creates a radiant refreshed looking eye area. Infused with goji berry and haloxiol. I don't know what that is. It comes with this little spongy thing. And as you can see, I've used the product. It comes with this spongy thing. And you'll just twist this up. And you'll start to see the product start to come out of there. I'm just gonna apply it in the areas that I would traditionally highlight. And conceal and everything that this concealer claims is perfect for me because I'm sure you see um, Gucci and Louie over here <laughs> and it's early in the morning so my eyes are even more more puffy than what they would traditionally be when I film but it depuffs too to blend this out I'm just going to use a beauty sponge this happens to be the eco tools sponge and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and work that in But as you can see, it blends out beautifully. Um, it blends out easily. There's no difficulty when it comes to blending it, which I truly appreciate. Oh, and the color that I'm using is the color caramel. It's very similar. I think it might be a little lighter than Fawn, but it's very similar to Fawn. I think, I'm, I think it's a little bit lighter than LA Girls Fawn. And you see how this concealer in itself is starting to lighten up the foundation. Um, which is working out perfectly for me. Now that I got everything applied, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and then I'll come back to you guys so that way we can talk about my overall thoughts in regards to all of the products and so forth. All right, so now that I've completed everything, I just wanna talk to you guys about each individual product. The foundation. I really, really like 
this foundation I think is awesome what I really like about it is that yes it's a matte finish but it's not drying for any skin type if you're liking a matte finish it's a suitable foundation for you it does not dry your skin out it still leaves that moisture within your skin but I still believe that it's really important to properly prep your skin because it is such a thick full coverage foundation you don't want it to cling to any of your like dry patches if you have them or any type of flaky skin so you just want to make sure your skin is prepped prior to using not just this foundation but any foundation but overall I really do like it a lot of times I have a problem with creasing in the smile lines I don't typically get that um, as early in the day as I would with other foundations and because I'm a person that smiles a lot I talk a lot and so you know the creasing is a problem for me but um, I with this foundation I do see that I have a longer wear time prior to the creasing actually starting to occur I will do a wear test with this so that way you guys can kind of see what my skin looks like after because I do have a glow after wearing it but it's not a greasy glow it's kind of a um, just like a glow within type of glow like a radiant glow it doesn't look too greasy the foundation itself as you guys can see it's flawless I really 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 like it now the depuffing thing I, I'd say it works but it's gonna take more than a depuffing agent um, that everybody puts in their product in order for me to get it right but as you can see it's not as prominent as it has been in other concealers that I used in the past like my uh, review that I just did a couple days ago about the uh, Makeup Revolution concealers there was definitely baggage there but here you can see where I was saying before more coverage and more lift and I guess age defying things definitely helps my bags not be as notable noticeable which I really appreciate now the applicator is weird I think we could have done away with the applicator but you know hey whatever it gets the stuff on and we're good to go I'm just thinking about like if you're a makeup artist can't use this because it's not going to be sanitary so that's my only concern about that is just the applicator but if it's just for yourself you can get away with it it's no problem the next thing I want to say about these products is the price the price is awesome I would just say drugstore overall you know I just love drugstore products because they're starting to give you that same quality that high-end products give you and it's just awesome because you're able to splurge and not be like I got three products and I'm paying $150 like you got three products and you pay in 25 which is awesome the foundation was $11.99 and I think this was $7.49 but I will double check and make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing I will do a wear test so you will see me one more time if you're interested in seeing how this wears about after like after five hours or so so just kind of stick in there if you're interested in seeing that if not um thank you for still watching but yeah so you'll see me in a couple hours all right if not see you later <laughs> All right guys, so I'm back. So this is how my skin is looking. Still looks pretty darn good. I don't think much has changed. There is just a little bit of oiliness probably building up around the T-zone area right here. And you're able to start seeing my pores just a tad bit, but it's nothing, nothing concerning. I think my face still looks like, you know, flawless or whatever but I don't I don't have any concerns like I really don't I put this on at 8 30 and so it is like I said 2 30 now that's six hours and by now if a foundation wasn't gonna work for me this would be around the time that would be a little sketchy but that's really it so I hope you guys enjoyed everything I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up if you have not tried this foundation and concealer I would definitely recommend that you go out and get it Alrighty, so that's it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!